been incredibly lucky, repositioned ourselves with another view of a quarantine's face. And I think he's actually a little bit miserable. I think he's cold. Quarantine does have a very serious face. As, as I said, it's the first time I've ever seen him. Our m young male leopards are just absolutely stunning. They really truly are. There's something extraordinary about them. They haven't quite reached the, the, the older stage where they've got the thick neck and the dewlap and whilst a male, a full grown male leopard in his prime is impressive and magnificent and awe inspiring, a young male leopard to me is the most beautiful of all of the leopard sort of uh, males and females. There's just something so perfect about them at this age. He's looking a little bit unsettled. I wonder if he didn't have a, another confrontation with Shimbambalana at some point in the evening. Shimbambalana is on Nkoro by the sounds of things. Perhaps there's something that occurred during the evening or he's just hungry and a bit cold and trying to shelter away from the wind. Blinking sleepily in the morning light, this beautiful dappled colouring that we have happening here. And it remains to be seen whether or not he's planning on spending the rest of his day here or if he's going to go hunting. Now, if he is hungry, he'll go off and search and most likely hunt something out here. But Wesley, our viewer in Durban, yes, absolutely, leopards do steal prey from other creatures. A leopard is not above scavenging in any way, shape, or form. We've seen Tingana and Karula feeding off an old buffalo carcass before. It often happens that they, they scavenge. In certain circumstances, some leopards will scavenge as much as they kill. Some get very used to scavenging. They almost specialize in it. But they don't necessarily chase predators off it as often as we think. They will definitely, particularly a male leopard, he will chase a cheetah, one solitary cheetah off a kill. And we saw it with Mvula during the Father's Day TV specials, which was an incredible sighting, where Mvula came racing in. Mvula, of course, potentially the father of quarantine. He came bounding in and chased a hyena off the buffalo that it was feeding on the most extraordinary moment. Brian and I were toast, so taken by surprise that we actually didn't know what to do with ourselves. I think I, I sat with my mouth open for a good 30 seconds just wondering if that really did happen. It was just such an intense day that Saturday. And leopards do scavenge, they occasionally chase hyena off. There's not that much though that they will be able to overpower. So obviously they'd never think of challenging a lion and as we saw with Mvula Challenging the hyenas didn't work out terribly well for him because he had to then abandon the kill because the, <laughs> the rest of the females returned in full force to chase him away. No, absolutely, they won't think about challenging hyenas in greater numbers than that. They will steal kills from the smaller cats like Serval and Caracal if they happen upon them. And there's even some recorded cases of leopards chasing birds of prey out of trees or away from their kill and stealing whatever it is they've caught. It's a rare situation, but it does occur. And the different le leopardies, that's, that was a combination of two words that I did not mean to combine. Different leopards specialize, there we go, in different hunting techniques and different survival techniques, and some do become expert scavengers, some become, like Tingana, expert tunnel and warthog hunters and going into burrows. Most leopards, however, have a combination of several different survival techniques. What's there, boy? I'm just shifting a bit, get a bit more comfortable. 